rolling. Are we going to do what they say can't be done? We've got a long way to go and a short time to get there. I'm westbound, just watch old bandit run. All right, guys, so here's the long-awaited PA Plow Day 2018 video. Unfortunately, I realized after the fact that I have a ton of pictures and not a whole lot of videos from my phone, mainly because all my videos were shot on the GoPro. Um, so I decided to throw a lot of pictures into this video uh, so you guys could see what was going on. Um, so here you can just see a few pictures of the staging area. Everyone's getting ready for the driver's meeting. Everyone's, you know, getting registered and lining up their tractors. And uh, we're getting ready to head out to the field. There's Tim. Alright, so you just saw a little bit of what we call rolling thunder, which is everyone heading out to the fields to start plowing. Here are a couple pictures from the first field I plowed with a few friends. It was a soybean field, so it wasn't really too difficult to plow. Uh, no one really got stuck up until the very end of it when it started to get a little wet. Um, but as you can see, we did manage to get the field done. Um, I was helping Andrew set up the plows on his 140 and his 400. After that, we headed back into the pits for a little bit to meet up with a few more friends. As you can see here, my friend Jimmy brought his F1145 and his 318 to plow with, which was pretty cool. Um, and then it started to get dark, so we ate dinner, and then we started to get ready for night plowing. Um, so I switched my plow over from the 140 to the 210, and then we all headed out to the fields. As you can see, the sunset really made for some nice pictures that night. The weather was perfect. There wasn't a cloud in the sky. Um, there were a lot of tractors out there night plowing. It was another soybean field. Um, a couple guys did get stuck because it was a little wet, but we managed to get them all out. And uh, you can just see some of the pictures I took here. It was really a nice night. The 210 did a really nice job, too. Those LED headlights are definitely worth the upgrade. They called us in at about 9.30 to finish plowing, um, so we all headed back together in the field, and uh, here you go. Just got done night plowing, it's about 9.30. I think we're gonna go warm up by the campfire. Well, that's it for Friday night. We just got done night plowing a little bit early. I think we're gonna go sit by the campfire and warm up now for a little bit. We, we, we're calling ourselves the uh, LED squad. <laughs>
John Deere there. So here are just a few pictures from Saturday morning before we got started. Uh, obviously a lot more people showed up on Saturday, so there were a lot more tractors there. Uh, here you can just see us in the registration area getting ready for the driver's meeting. Uh, Tim Wheeler played the national anthem. Thanks for that, Tim. That was pretty cool. Uh, you can see here's the uh, lineup of 430s and 420s and 455s. Um, those tractors pretty much dominate the plow day. But you can see there were plenty of other colors mixed in too. start gathering around uh, we'll get this meeting underway in about 10 15 minutes there's still a lot of people in that far parking lot that kind of wander around here and get over here so about 10 15 minutes we'll get this show started Here are just a couple quick shots of the first field we plowed Saturday morning. This is the upper part of the field that we had plowed the night before. Our little group stuck together, so me on the 140, Blake on the 210, Evan on his 318, Tyler on his 318, Jimmy on his 318, Jared on his X585 and his 140, Harrison on his 318, and Joseph on his 112. Here's our little group. After lunch, Jimmy broke out the F1145 to try it out, and we headed to the next field. As you can see here, I have a gas can strapped to the front of the 140. I had to keep topping off the gas tank because it would stall out when the furrows got too deep. Gotta love a gravity-fed fuel system. Aside from that, this field was pretty easy to plow. We didn't really have much trouble, which was surprising because it was a cornfield. But it, you can see here, we were moving through it without a problem.
At one point, we all stopped to take a big group picture. You can see our awesome lineup here. We call ourselves the PA Plow Day Squad. After that, a few guys had to leave, so we went back to the pits for a little bit, and then a few of us returned to the fields on other people's tractors to keep plowing. Driving Tyler's uh, 1988 318. It's making me miss having one. So as you can see, Tyler and I switched up, we took turns running each other's tractors, and we stayed in that big field pretty much until it was finished. You can see there were a few other tractors in the field as well. Once they all left, I stayed behind with the 210, and I cleaned up a couple of the dead furrows. That tractor handles the dead furrows really well, which is kind of surprising. It doesn't seem to get stuck. Not bad for a 200 series tractor, if you ask me. By this point the event was pretty much over and mostly everyone had left to go home so the parking area was pretty empty but Jimmy and Andrew and I weren't quite ready to finish plowing yet so just for fun we decided to tear up the lower half of the parking lot and make a couple last rounds. We hung around just a little while after that and then we all loaded up our tractors and headed on our way home. So that concludes PA Plow Day 2018. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the GoPro videos too.